everybody. I'm back. I'm back from my trip to Loch Lomond and let me tell you, out of this world. Amazing. Thank you to Ali McNutt for the invite and Paul McGuigan. Uh, yeah, totally and utterly amazing. They've basically put about a foot of sand on top of each fairway so it doesn't flood. And it is it was like playing on a, a Lynx course. It was that hard. Uh, greens, lovely coverage, very slow, uh, but phenomenal. A wonderful, wonderful experience. Did I win? Maybe, maybe one. Won't say anything else, but yeah, started off very ropely, very shakily. It was interesting. I actually tried to get out of playing at Loch Lomond because I hadn't played for a while. And again, that's what happens. When you don't play, you get out of the habit. So this winter, you're going to see a lot more of me on the golf course. Hopefully on the right fairway. So as you can see behind me, we've had a little bit of an update to the lab. Yes, don't worry. These lights can be slowed down a bit, but I thought you would enjoy the theatre. So this week, we have taken delivery of, where are we, the new Titleist range. TSI 2 and TSI 3. Wow. <laughs> so here we are with the Titleist TSI range. Wow. So, TSI 2, designed for those wanting higher launch and lower spin. Basically, I think everybody. Now, the I stands for innovation. Titleist uh, believe this is now, to be honest. Let's all, let's all be honest. We've heard this before, the longest and straightest driver they've ever made. Right, okay, let's cut out that nonsense and let's look at why it's different. If you look at the face, they've teamed up with an aero uh, space metal uh, company. And it's the first golf club with this metal uh, titanium on the face. So they say it is better uh, than a normal titanium. It's a bit lighter um, and it's just meant to be super strong. So will it work? We shall see. Um, I've hit it. I enjoyed it. I liked it. I've got a sim, um, which I love. And the results were equally. Uh, equally good. I didn't have the chance to go into detail with it as much because my groin popped, which is great news for everybody. So again, if you look at the design of it, you've got weight pushed way back here. So it is friendly. So the so be, the MOI of the driver uh, is higher than that of the TS i3 which is a smaller sleeker uh, more kind of tour driven driver now this one here uh it's friendlier so the moi is higher i think it's about 13 percent higher than the the tsi3 but does that mean it's better for you well we don't know until we try it with you um again the 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 maneuverability with this one it's still got the collar so we can change lofts and lie angles uh, with the TSI 3, you'll see it's a smaller, kind of more classical shaped head. Now, this thing at the back is a phenomenal piece of engineering. You know, on tour, you get a thing called hot melting, where you get the, uh, the tour van to move about weight to help with the player's ball flight. Here, you don't have to do that. You just pop it up, move it about, and Bob's your uncle, and Fanny's your aunt, yes. Now that's our job to dial in the driver for you, but looks are very important. You know, you don't want to look down at something and go, oh God, I hate that. But they are very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pieces of metal, aerospace metal. Will it work? Well, you're different from everybody else, but that's just a quick look at them for you. Um, and does it float your boat? Come and see us and we will assist you in every way possible. Okay, so this is Bell's tip of the week that you don't have to go outside to do. Now, I remember David Ledbetter books from years ago telling us to 
now excuse me because I have hurt my groin to turn onto our right side and then go on to your left drop the club and oh my goodness that was the most confusing thing I've ever ever tried to do and I ended up not doing it I did my own thing and my own thing turned out to be the right thing so instead of you moving your head off the ball and trying to turn your shoulders what you want to do is you would want to turn your shoulders on this plane so I'll turn to show you so if you watch my right shoulder is going to go back and my left shoulder is going to go down and in so basically this club shaft will point more down so if you struggle to hit where the ball is on the ground you're probably going to be migrating off the ball now that's okay with a driver to an extent still wouldn't recommend massive amounts of movement but when the ball is on the ground and it's an iron if you are moving off the ball goodness gracious me you're going to need a taxi to get back to the ball okay so when you are practicing or warming up push the left shoulder down for a right-handed player obviously and the right shoulder goes up so see how much of a shoulder turn i've got there and i've not moved off the ball i move off the ball and i don't get as much a shoulder turn and low point becomes very very inconsistent good golfers do not hit behind the ball all the time and good golfers do not move away like this they have a center turn so perfect your center turn and you're gonna hit more where the ball is rather than behind it and you're also going to deliver stronger loft to the ball as well a lot of people that move off the ball don't get back to the ball so what they do is they add loft to the golf club and use the bottom of the golf club to stop it digging in and the ball goes up in the air so you don't hit your seven iron any further than you hit your uh, your eight iron and your nine iron so if this is you get into the mirror look at how your shoulders are turning if you're away over here forget it let's try and get you a more centered pivot shoulder turn see look how much i can turn into my groin's knackered so perfect the pivot let's see what we can do if we do get locked down that's something for you to try so what else has been hard to get through these terrible times golf trolleys and i have a few that have come in to stop so if you need an electric golf trolley come and see me because when they're gone there'll be another eight week delay so if you need one come and see us and we'll sort you out